and welcome back to Council Bluffs News. I'm Zach Harper Blunt, joined in studio by Janice Cobia, the Director of Public Affairs of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, and a volunteer for many other events that are coming up here in Council Bluffs. Janice, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Zach, for having me. And there's a pair of events coming up uh, next week, kind of kicking off the holiday season. The first one is a lighting ceremony, and can you kind of talk a little bit about that? The lighting ceremony in, K in uh, Bayless Park will be November the 19th from 6 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock and um, we'll have Santa Claus and the mayor come in the park on a fire engine. The mayor will give a short speech and Bayless Park who we have, we have hired to do the lighting event will be there to flip the switch and light up Bayless Park. It's something that we're really looking forward to. It's going to be amazing. And uh, afterwards, we'll all walk over to Bayless Hall where Santa Claus will greet the children. We'll have hot chocolate and cookies, face painting, balloon art, and it's just gonna be a wonderful event for families. So I hope you'll all come out and attend that wonderful event. And just a lot of fun just from the sounds of it. It's gonna be fabulous. And how did this all come together? Well, it came together last year. Uh, many of the uh, community came to the uh, mayor and they were upset that there were no lights in Bayless Park anymore. Oh. They had burned out over the 20, last 20 years and there just wasn't much there. And so they came to the mayor and said, you know, what can we do to bring the lights back to Bayless Park? We got money from individuals, from businesses, and then we uh, looked at several uh, lighting companies. We chose uh, Holly Dynamics to do our lighting event and they have done a fabulous job. I am so excited when they flip the switch and we can see what they've actually done to the park. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a joy for the people who come and visit Bayless Park and during I can, the holiday season. I can imagine that. And then also a couple days after that you're having a ribbon cutting ceremony at the Canesville Tabernacle. We are. On uh, November the 21st we are having our 11th annual gingerbread ribbon cutting ceremony. Mayor Matt Walsh will be there as our guest of honor. He'll cut the ribbon to officially open our gingerbread display for 2015. It's gonna be a great event. We'll have over 100 gingerbread houses there. We'll have approximately 12 Christmas trees decorated and it's gonna be run through November 20th through December the 31st. And there's a lot of groups that probably helped out with this event, but one of them is the Culinary Arts Program here at Iowa Western. And we are delighted. We are so excited that uh, the Culinary Arts Bakery Department has donated a gingerbread display for us. It's going to be an eight-foot oh, wow. Christmas village, and we're so excited for them to bring it over to the display where everybody can enjoy it. I can't wait to see all of this once everything is ready to go for this holiday season. And if you haven't seen the Canesville Tabernacle, it's a must-see because it is fabulous. The decorations are beautiful. It's just going to be a wonderful event to attend. Janice, thank you for joining us in studio to talk about these two events that are coming up. Thank you, Zach. Stay tuned. More Council Bluffs news coming up right after the break. <laughs> 